<laughs> Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a beautiful day here in, uh, in North Wales. I'll just get myself out the road for this car. It smells like uh, a cow has... Um... Oh, it has. So yeah, today I'm trying out, this is uncomfortable, a, uh, a new video series on this channel that I'm gonna call uh, 10 Photos From. And uh, basically, the premise of this video is as follows. I'm gonna go to a place and try and get 10 photos from there. Quite obvious, really, but I'm hoping over the course of the next year or so to do a video in Iceland, uh, a video in Antarctica, a video in Patagonia, uh, where else, Namibia, maybe I'll hop to a few European cities to try and get these videos as well. This is uncomfortable, I'm just gonna get off my bike. But uh, this idea came about because I was sort of feeling like the videos on my channel were becoming a little bit stale. Like I was going out, trying to come up with a topic for any given video and uh, talking a little bit about that topic, trying to get a couple of good photos and then calling it a day. And I didn't feel particularly challenged doing any of that stuff. This, hopefully, will be a bit of a challenge. I mean, in some places, more than others. Today will be very much a challenge because uh, I've just come out on a bike ride near home in what you can probably tell is horrible, harsh light. It's very windy and uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get 10 good photos, but that's the challenge. And uh, yeah, we'll start here. Well, this didn't take very long. Lovely. They were mad. Also, you might be wondering why on earth it is that I've decided to come out in this light. Basically, the plan was that I was gonna come out this evening. I can only do this today. Uh, I've got other stuff to do the rest of this week before I go to Scotland next week. I was gonna do it tonight until Emily reminded me that uh, we've got a class tonight on how to look after babies. And uh, I don't know the first thing about looking after babies. I need to learn. I could write everything I know about looking after babies on a blade of grass. So uh, it's important that I'm there and uh, Emily would make sure that my life wasn't worth living if I wasn't. So I've got about three or four hours to get the other, I mean, I don't know how many photos I've got left, to be honest, that was, that was fantastic. So uh, I don't know, you'll probably notice that I take more than 10 photos and show you more than 10 photos through the course of these videos. The plan is that at the end of these videos, I'll upload 10 photos as a series on Instagram and that's where the final photos will sit. It's the initial plan, these plans do change, but uh, yeah, right. Gonna get the other photos. I've got a feeling though, I'm gonna be stuck behind a herd of sheep heading up this road. Just a hunch. Uh, right, well, I don't think this place is gonna work for a shot of me on the bike, just because that tree trunk there is quite dark and I'm wearing quite dark clothes. So if I'm riding this way, then I'm just gonna be kind of masked by the tree trunk. But I think this spot does work quite well for, um, for some shots of the bike. So get rid of that water bottle, get some nice product detail shots. Much use the viewfinder actually, if you don't mind. Oh, my knees. Right, here's pretty good. Some depth in the scene with these flowers in a good spot to uh, just get the logo of the bike, which is what I'm gonna focus on. That's pretty nice. Right, a few different options there. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna work for uh, an on the bike shot because of that tree trunk. And in this direction, it's not gonna work because those trees still look like they haven't woken up from winter. So the search continues for an on the bike shot. Well, this is another good spot for a, uh, a profile of the bike. Yes. 
Right, that's enough profiles of the bike, I think. Uh, is there anything interesting in these woods? Probably. Can't see many bluebells though. That's the, the main reason I would go and explore in there. So, no, we'll, we'll leave that for another day. This is uh, it's sort of an out and back ride, really. So I'm just kind of mentally clocking opportunities. And uh, if I see stuff that I think might be an option on the way home, then I'll get it on the way home when hopefully the light will, uh, will be a bit less harsh. Although, I mean, I've got to be home by six, which is three hours before sunset. So probably not really going to make much of a difference. I mean, how nice is that house? It's, uh, it's a shame there's a car right in front of it, but I mean, it might be the owners. No foreground really to speak of. If I was on my feet, i.e. not on the bike, I'd go and hunt around for some, some flowers that I could pick to stick right in front of the camera. But uh, I'm not gonna do that today. Right, well, I can't, unfortunately, I don't think, get a shot of myself on this road because there's nowhere really to uh, put my camera. But what I'm going to do, in fact, it'll be quicker to get off, is take a shot of the road anyway because it's really nice. Right, let me bring you up to speed with uh, what I thought I've been telling you for the past 25 minutes, but what I haven't actually been telling you at all because I've been speaking into a dead GoPro battery. Uh, right, first off was this shot, which I decided was a pretty good place for the, uh, the shot of me riding my bike with this stuff in the foreground. I waited for some soft light. I think it came, and uh, as a result, I'm hoping that I got a decent shot and what I've been doing the last few minutes is I've had the camera stationed here as you can see and I've had uh, some foliage here in the foreground and then I've been walking through that gate with uh, with my bike which looks like quite a good journey shot with Talavan in the background so that's how the last 25 minutes is gone there's a there's a weird knocking on my bike so I've got the multi-tool out don't know what it is but I'm hoping it doesn't hold me up too long because I will be in trouble with Emily uh, also, I would very kindly ask that you don't judge the, uh, the potential of these videos based on today's execution. I do plan on making these videos when I've got a bit more time and no baby class in the evenings in future, but uh, needs must. <laughs> Look at a uh, quick snapshot of some bluebells. Um, well, that baby care class that I was telling you about, uh, turns out it wasn't about baby care. It was uh, actually about complex childbirth. Anyway, uh, a big thank you for watching this video and uh, hopefully you like the idea of it as much as I do. I'm very excited about it. It will become a little bit more refined, as I said. I'm hoping that going forward there will be less GoPro footage pointing at bushes as I take photos of what's above the bush. I mean, that kind of thing I, I will try and iron out. But the premise of what I'm trying to do, I'm very excited about because it's been a long time since I've had like this clear an aim with the videos. And I do think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. So hopefully you follow along for that challenge. Uh, also a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. So you might have noticed in this video, I'm using a brand new typeface. And to be honest, if you followed this channel for a long time, you've probably seen about a dozen different typefaces across the videos. Uh, I've never really settled on one. And at the moment I'm taking a Skillshare class all about typefaces in the hope that maybe I can create my own that's perfectly tailored to what I want it to be. Now on Skillshare, you can learn about all kinds of different stuff. Uh, photography, how to arrange your house plants, UX design, loads of stuff. And if you'd like to check it out yourself, then the first thousand people to click the link in my description will get access to a free trial. And after that, if you'd like to continue your membership, then you'll pay less than $10 a month to do so. Uh, so yeah, a big thank you to Skillshare for their continued support of this channel. Definitely check them out if you're interested and uh, hopefully you'll still be interested in, in this series as well going forward. 
a more refined version of what you've seen today. Hopefully not in bright sunshine, with more than three hours to film it. Probably not on my bike all that much, because that uh, is harder on a bike, especially with the clip-in pedals. I'm not really used to them yet. I've fallen off about half a dozen times. Right, I'm gonna go and make myself busy. Anytime I've had a couple of minutes this morning, I've just had sort of flashbacks to the, uh, the complex labor class. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.